Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Me and my me and my buddies are here. Right here working on replacing the trailer brakes. I just wanna do like a rundown of how how would you change out the trailer brakes on the on the hopper bottom. Um it's it's just like any other brakes on any other trailer, the same old brakes. Um maybe just a little little, little different so um, in depth, wise, or width. Um, pretty much all breaks about the same. Um, um, I did a little rundown. I didn't tore it apart and then put new breaks on. Um, maybe next time I do another video of changing the breaks out, showing how to take it off. But I just do like a rundown, uh, step by step, what you need to do first. Um, the very first step you need to do is remove these orange springs. What you do is take a little flathead screwdriver, pop them out, and there's one on this side. There's one on this side too. I should be. Right here. There's one on each side that holds it on. And uh, these these orange ones will come back in play when you put them back on. Um, and then the next step you do is um, first you want to do you make sure that your brakes are. You, um, you adjust your brakes on your on your slat adjuster, which is right there. Make sure that it's loose and it's free from the drum and slide drum off. And then you come back over here and you do, you take that spring off, like I said, on both sides. Top or bottom, don't either way, which one you feel comfortable with. I prefer the bottom. Um, then you come back and then you see these little things right here. You pretty much you pull, um, let's see. Yeah, you pull up on these. Okay, it's the opposite way you put them back on. You pull, you pull them up with a screwdriver or your finger, which one you prefer, but make sure you watch your fingers. You will um, smash your finger off. Um, and there's none right here. So you got two. One here, and you got one here. Just pull these out and this this is uh just loosens them up so you drop this put this brake down and then once they once you once you release these off add add these holes right here that's what the that's what these things are these are inside the little hole let me see if I can get it now hold it show you I don't know if I have to. nope it's hard to show you that it's an odd spot. But just pull up and it, and it takes, let me see, you might be able to see over here. You see that little, little thing over there in the hole? But freeze it up on both top and bottom. Then you'll be able to knock the brake down and pull the brakes off. Um, then make sure when you do, make sure you, you take it off how it is, lay it down like, a, like it's on trailer. And then, and then get your old ones out of the box, the new ones out of the box, and set it up just not how, you, how just like the, the old ones. Make sure that everything matches the old one. If not, it will not work properly, and brakes might come off, <laughs> might fall off. It has to be on. It has to go on a specific way. Um, these, if you see this little pin right here, you got to knock them in in the right spot in the right holes for that spring to work right to hold it on uh, you got one on top right here let's see if I can show you again uh, focus 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 right there and you got one right here so you got two of them you got to knock them in um, they're a little hard a little complicated to put them in sometimes they don't want to do right um, once you get those in put the spring on and then um, place your place your your brakes on just like you took them off identical. Yeah, this is critical. Make sure you put them on just just like the old ones were on. That's the big part. Big 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 part of this. Um. Um. And then once you put the brakes on like they were, the bottom is gonna be hanging. So don't worry about that. It's gonna, it's gonna be hanging until you put, until you put these springs back on. I go ahead and take a little trick. Put put the top one in first on both sides. I'll show you again. On both sides. So you got one here. 
and got one over here. Little trick, little simple little trick, like it may help you. Put the top in first. Um, take a little flathead screwdriver. Just don't take much, because um, you might you might be pulling it down from like from from here to there. So it's not much spring action. So um, just use a flathead screwdriver. Just put it in where where just a little a little nip of it gets in the hole. Then take a little. Take your your free your other free hand and use like a little little ha little hammer. Don't need a big hammer, just a little one. Just tap it in slowly. It, it will pop out. So just keep that flat head screwdriver there until you get it all pushed in there. Same way for this side. This is, it's real easy. It's real. Um, 15 to 20 minutes putting on taking the brakes on and off. About 15 to 20 minutes. If everything goes good and nothing is wait before you put these brakes oh let's get sorry about that before you put the brakes on make sure uh, all these new springs you see the blue spring the orange spring the bushings right here um and these right here let's check these right here like these, these that goes around the s cam the s cam right here these things and these little springs top things will be coming to, into a, a a kit a kit that comes with all that uh, all the stuff that you need to put the brakes back on including these little these little things right here too these are included in the kit too um so make sure that you make sure that you're keeping an eye on your uh, i don't want to be able to see it not, but in here and by inside here is a bushing that that these slide into. Let's make sure that those bushings are still good. Um, that they might be wore out. Um, but these are actually not bad. Um, so it's real easy. Before you, once you once you place the brakes back onto the on the tire or the not tire but the axle itself. Put the top on first. Set it on. On this first, you see a little notch. Place it on there. The bottom can be hanging until you get the springs on. Make sure you do the springs first before you work on the front or the back. Cause this is what's gonna hold the bottom tight, and so you can do. Won't be much playing, much, much moving around and stuff like that. Just it's easier. Just go ahead and put these on flat head screwdriver, and then use a the little hammer bit it in. Um, but then come back up here to the back. <sighs> Sorry for all the moving. Um, and then come back here and then place these little, place this in. And I'll go, I'll go ahead and tell you a little trick. Make sure you got a long crowbar. Oh, here we get it, right here. A little trick. You probably won't see this much from other people, but I learned this from my tire guy. Um, See, see how the crowbar is? All the way across over there. And then in order in order to put this top of in right here, you take your brake, you pick it up. Well, it's already got set, it's already set. So just pick it up, but make sure, watch out. Remember you got this spring right here. If this crowbar slips and your fingers are right here or underneath this, anywhere near this, it will chop your finger off through that spring right there. Just be careful with this watch, make sure that you don't slip off when you're picking it up. And then slowly push this in onto the S cam. And then lock that thing in, lock it in. If you don't lock it in, you just, your brakes don't fall off. Um, same thing for the bottom. I'll show you. Take your crowbar, go all the way to the other side. See it? Uh, other side, lock it. And then you use your, and you use your axle to pick up on. No, 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 that's opposite. Push down on the bottom side, right? Same thing as you do the top. Slide that, slide this in. When you push down on it, but be sure, watch out that your crowbar does not slip off this brake pad when your finger's anywhere near this S cam. It will chop it off. Um, so, and then lock that, lock that, that baby in. 
and you're done. You're done with your brakes. That's how you put the brakes on the trucker. Truck, same thing on truck. Same concept. Um, might be a different. This might be the different size width of the brakes. Um, but most most of the time, the brakes on the truck trailer and the drives are the same size brakes. Except for your steers. The steers are probably like maybe a little thinner. Not much thinner, but a little thinner than these. But um, that's how you put brakes on the trailer. Um, next time I'll do an actual video of replacing the brakes. Um, so, um, sorry, the sunshine is shining real bright this morning. But that's how you put brakes on truck, on trailer me. Um, just make sure you do, make sure you wash your fingers, make sure you, make sure you put everything back on like it was from the old one. Just pay attention to how you're taking the old brakes off and just put it exactly how it is. If you have any questions, make sure just ask me just uh, draw a question down below. I tried to my my best to answer it. Um, this this is the part number for the trailer trailer. Let's see. Yep. There's your brake brake number. Part number for the trailer. If you ever wanna, if you are doing a a bottom hopper trailer. Um, so if you have any questions about how to install brakes on the trailer, drop down, drop down below questions or anything that you have anything about the trailer, brakes and stuff. And, um, um, if my buddy did, but I changed those slit adjusters, um, that one, and I changed this one over here, over here. I don't know if you can see it right there. I didn't change all three of them. I ain't changed this one on this side because this this was still this one right here. This is still the old the old timer the old the oh my god the old style slat adjusters. Those are self adjusted slat adjusters. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, but hey, that's what everything's going to now. Everything wants to be self adjusted, so maybe just more problems, more work. Um, I prefer the manual, um, slat adjusters, but, hey, you get what you get now. Everything's changing, um, to new style. So, just say hello, bub. Bub. Say goodbye. He doesn't, he's in court, he's enjoying that cool ground underneath the trailer. So, um, I'll see y'all next video. Drop me, this. Uh, give me some questions about the anything on brakes and stuff i'd make sure i can try to answer if i can i'd talk to my my mechanic or my tire guy and see if i can get some answers for you and um i know i know some but i'm not i'm not a professional in some stuff so i try to do my very best to answer the questions that i can answer if not i can get it for you no doubt um i got some good people on my team on my business, my trucking business, so I got some good teams underneath me um, that's really helping me out getting getting it going and getting it started. So um, I've been trucking for five years now. Just now I got my own business started, so hey, you got to start somewhere. So any questions, drop down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.